has hecho de nuestro dulce hogar Reina que un día fue la alegría de todo aquel sitial One of Cuba's greatest musical ambassadors, legendary vocalist Omar Portuondo, already a big star in Cuba, attracted international and U.S. attention in 1997 as a result of being the only female member singing on the hit album The Buena Vista Social Club, an album produced by guitarist Ry Cooter that resurrected the reputation of an extinct Havana nightclub and the careers of the long-forgotten members of an all-star band, both of which were known by the same name as that album. Omara, who has been compared to American icon Billie Holiday and French icon Edith Piaf, was born in Havana, Cuba in 1930. Following the lead of her influential older sister Heidi, Omara began her career as a dancer in 1950 at the famous Tropicana nightclub. In addition to dancing, the two sisters also sang together, initially for friends and family, as well as in local clubs. Then in 1953, Heidi and Omara, along with Elena Burke and Morema Sakata, formed a singing group called Quarteto de Aida. During the 50s, the group achieved considerable success touring the United States and occasionally performing at the Tropicana in Havana with Nat King Cole. But the all-female quartet had only one album to its credit when pianist and composer Julio Gutierrez came calling to invite Omara to sing on a series of recordings for the Velvet record label with the intent of connecting jazz and Cuban music. The end result, Omara's debut solo album, Magia Negra. Hay una extraña magia negra en ti, que es como un maleficio para mí. Viene ese embrujo que hay en tu mirar, se abraza mi alma en un calor sensual. Tu voz es... In 1961, a failed military invasion of Cuba, sponsored by the CIA and called the Bay of Pigs, had an adverse effect on the original members of Quarteto de Aida. Prior to the incident, the group frequently performed in Miami, Florida. But when the relationship between the United States and Cuba collapsed, they were prevented from returning to America. Despite the ban, Heidi was somehow able to re-enter the United States and decided to live there permanently, so she had to leave the group. Omara, on the other hand, chose to remain in Cuba and continued singing with the group, minus one, until 1967. Omara recorded two solo albums with the Ari Ito label in 1967. She later recorded a few more for the same label during the 70s and 80s. Her live performances remained principally with Orchestra Aragon during the 70s, and although her career continued to flourish at home and abroad during this time, with the exception of a handful of releases during the 80s and early 90s, production of the majority of her accumulated discography of 25 albums didn't actually begin until after her 1997 Buena Vista Social Club recording. She was 67 years old at the time. 
At an age when the careers of most performers are in decline, she recorded a string of albums. And at 86 years young, retirement doesn't appear to be on the horizon anytime soon. Incidentally, her most recent output was the 2014 edition of Magia Negra. Yes, that's right. The modern-day version of her very first recording in 1958. For more information, visit omaraportuondo.com. Thank you for dropping by. My name is Glenn Cooper. Be sure to come back again for another edition of Artist in Residence, right here on The Rhythm Space. Until then, be well. Esclava de ti, reír y cantar, volver.